Hi, I'm Ryan Sen, a product specialist, New Leader Manufacturing. Today, we're going to talk about some key areas that you're going to want to inspect on your machine prior to using it for the season. We're going to go ahead and start at the front of the machine. On the pump and the secondary pump, if your system has an insert bin, you're going to want to check all the hydraulic fittings, making sure they're, they're tight and there's no signs of hydraulic leaks. Next, we're going to want to inspect the oiler. Again, checking the fittings, making sure that there's no signs of leaks and that all the components on the system function properly. As we move to the primary hydraulic tank and radiator assembly, we're again checking and making sure that all the fittings are tight and that there are no signs of leaks. You will also want to pay special attention to the in-tank hydraulic filter located on the top side of the tank. That needs to be serviced on regular, at a regular interval, which will be found in your owner's manual. The total tank capacity is 23 gallons of hydraulic oil, but as you see on the sight gauge, you're going to have a couple of marks. You're going to want the oil level to be somewhere between the bottom of that sight gauge and the top of the sight gauge. Most of the time, the best point and the best level is going to be roughly right in the center of that sight gauge. Next, we're going to come to the primary monoblock. On that monoblock, we're going to want to inspect all the hydraulic lines and fittings, coils and valves making sure that there's no signs of leaks or damaged components. Directly behind the primary monoblock is where we're going to find on the G5 is going to be the primary G5 manifold. Again, we're going to repeat the same process that we went through on our primary monoblock. On the G5 and on the 4500, we're going to want to inspect and make sure that all the hydraulic lines, where they go from the stainless steel lines to the hydraulic lines, are going to have hydraulic fittings. We're going to want to make sure that they're tight and there's no signs of leaking. And if there's signs where that they're starting to wear, uh, it may be time to replace them. On the spinner motors, you're going to want to inspect the face of them and make sure that there's no oil seeping from the top side of the motor. On both units as well, you're going to have your primary gearbox. Based on the unit that you have, you may have two different capacities. Those specifications can be found in your user manual. This unit, since it has two drive motors, would require a pint and a half of oil. On a G5 specifically, you're going to have your feed gate rams and cylinders. You're going to want to inspect the fittings. And again, you're going to want to inspect the ram and make sure that there's no signs that that hydraulic cylinder is leaking. On the G5 fan frame specifically, you're going to want to inspect the primary left, right, and fore aft hydraulic cylinders. On a unit that has an insert bin, like this one, you're going to see an additional hydraulic motor. You're going to want to check the fittings. You're also going to inspect the face of that motor and make sure that you don't have any oil seeping from the face of the motor as well. With that said, on the gearbox, you're going to want to check the face of the gearbox as well to make sure that that seal is still in good condition. On this system, since it has an insert, we're going to come over to the right side of the machine and that is where you're going to find your hydraulic blocks and valve assembly for controlling your inserts and additional multi-bins if they are installed. Again, check the fittings, and make sure that there's no signs of leaking. Also on this side, we have better visibility of our automatic chain tensioning system that is found both on the 4500s and 5000s. On that system, you'll again, you'll want to check on both sides, the fittings coming and going from the hydraulic cylinder and the face of the cylinder, making sure that there's no leaks or moisture on the rams themselves. 